Um, so there's a Sculptula. I believe it's actually down here. You have to go down here and look. Where do I have to look? It's oh, okay. It's over here. Um, turn it up, and there we go. Gold Sculptula token. How many do I have? I have 19. So just I think. I think the next reward is at 20, but it might be 25. I'm not not 100% sure on that. Um, so that's that. Uh, so I didn't really go over this, but that's where we came from, right ahead of me. Uh, so we went forward to that door. There are there's an entrance over that way. There's like an entrance way over there. There's another door over up there. There's a door up there, but we can't get up there, so we're, I think we come back from there eventually. And there's a door over there with a like an eye switch up there. Um, this door is locked, and I believe you can actually come back through this door eventually. And it, later we're going to be able to shoot the eye, but I don't think I really need to. Um, this door over here is locked. There's a padlock there, so that's what we use the keys for, obviously. This door has a Song of Time block, which I can just get rid of by playing Song of Time. <clears throat> and it's not locked, which is good, because I don't want to use my keys right away. So we go through that door. There's a nice little... What are these called? Deku Babas, I think? Big Deku Babas, okay. Um, so what we want to do is avoid that. Uh, as you can see, there's like a pool of water here. It's kind of green, I don't really like that. Um, so I would like to... What else do we got here? Um, oh, these stupid Walchulas. Um, these things, I mean, I think we saw them on the mountain. So, they're not, like, too new, but they're a little annoying because you can't hit that one right up there, I don't think. Let's try getting, like, close to the vines and then trying to hit it. I really don't think you can hit that. No. I can't even... Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, this, this thing will attack you if you get near it. It'll glow purple, which, uh, means that it's angry, I guess. So, I'm gonna try to avoid it. I think if you stay over here on this side, kind of far from it, it won't see you. And then it won't attack you. So, it's good to know. Uh, there's another stupid bubble here. Which I can hopefully kill. I hate these things. I really do. And they hate me because they cause my game to crash. Um, so, killing that thing unlocks the door, but it also gives us gives me a big chest, which, uh, I believe this is the dungeon map. Pretty sure this is the dungeon map. It's pretty early in the dungeon. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so let's take a look at the dungeon map. There's actually four floors here. We're on the second floor. Um, the first floor, I believe, is the main floor. No, wait. Is that the main? I don't remember anymore. I'm very confused at, uh, right now. Uh, we're on the second floor right now. Right, so yeah, we went up from that last room. Uh, the main area where the elevator was is on the first floor. And I think that the boss is on the bottom floor? Basement floor? Whatever B floor it means. I'm not really sure. Um, we can actually just hookshot right onto that little target there, I believe. If I, uh, if I'm close enough, I hope. Alright, let's, uh, widen that up. And there we go. You'll see these targets pretty often in the game. There's a switch, which drains that little pool that we saw early- Well, no, that one we didn't see earlier. We're actually in a new room. Let's jump right down into the water, because we don't take fall damage if we fall in the water. This is actually a different room um, than the one we left earlier. There's actually a little pedestal up here with a chest, which I don't think you're normally supposed to get here right away. 
But if you angle this right, and I didn't do it just then, but I'll try that again. Um, normally you're not supposed to be, like I said, normally you're not supposed to be able to get here um, at this early in the game. I think... I'm not sure. I usually just grab the chest, because I know that's what the, uh, the hookshot can do. Um, and we get a nice little sculptural token out of that. That's pretty good. Um, so now that that's out of the way, we can actually go in this little uh, tunnel thing. This is actually a tunnel that leads to the other room. Um, that door that I didn't really point out, but it's there behind or near the uh, where the big Deku Baba was leads back to that uh, door that was all chained up in the beginning that I saw and pointed out has the uh, the eye switch above it. So now we have three keys. What we could possibly do with three keys at once? That's crazy. That is insane how many keys that is. That is, that is a lot of keys. Um, so now we're back in that first, not the first room, but that one room Remember over there, there was like three sculptulas, and we're back there. Um, and this is the room. This is the first room. Um, like I said, that room over there would have brought me to here to this room, but I had to get that key. Now I have three keys, and now I believe it is time to open a door with one of these keys. There we go. And we got another Skulltula, which I missed because it fell because I walked forward. Uh, do you have anything for me? No, you don't. Let's go through this door. This is the room where the, uh, the bubbles froze my game. These things are so annoying. I don't understand you, bubbles. You bubbles are so annoying. Alright, so let's just go up this ladder here, and another ladder, because, you know, just in case if you're blind, I'll just let you know what I'm doing. Um, there are arrows painted on the floor! Thanks for, uh, thanks for that helpful advice, Navi. Uh, so, this is a fairly easy puzzle, you just pull the block. And now it's lined up with the arrows. You can push the block as well. And eventually, it'll get stopped somewhere. And you have to use that to push it somewhere else. Alright, there. That sound means it's stopped. Now we can walk around this way. And we can push the block this way until we hear another sound. That sound, the doo 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 sound, and we can come up here, climb up here rather. All right, those those bubbles, man, they're really annoying. So we got another puzzle, quote unquote, with these block, with this block rather. So we're just, I'm just gonna pull this block forward, and it doesn't seem like I can pull it any further. That's strange. What do I do? Well, there's actually another way to get up from here. <coughs> and it is right here. Yes, here. This ladder. Turn this way. And there's an eye switch up there, but we're going to worry about that later. Here is the red block that we... We're pushing. We're pulling earlier. Let's just push that all the way so that's flush with the wall. Then we can go back down here and follow the arrows. If you get lost, I'm already lost. All right, so let's climb up and do the same here. And I didn't push it all the way. Great. Um, I think I must have like pulled it back by accident. That's my fault. Sorry about that. Alright. So... I don't know how long I've been recording for. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk going for the whole hour again. Because I kind of want to finish this dungeon. 
There we go. It's flush against the wall. I didn't pull it back this time. Jump back down. Follow the arrows because I'm lost. Wait for it to say climb. Line up the camera. You'll notice me lining up the camera a lot because I am, I guess, OCD or something. It's one of it's it's something like that. I'm very obsessive about certain things like that. So climb, this auto climb, and we can turn this way, and then we can turn this way, and then we can climb up a ladder again. And here is where my, well not, not this point exactly, but this area is where my game froze last time. Um, so hopefully I can just kill these things very easily. I should probably just uh, jump attack them, if I remember. No, no. No, no. Right, I can't. I can't jump attack this because I don't have enough room. So here's another door with a lock on it, and this uh, this room, yeah, this corridor is all twisted. Navi says dumb things sometimes. I mean, come on. I wouldn't. I would never notice that actually. And yeah, watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Uh, so that is a warning, and we'll just wait a few seconds, and... Oh, well, I messed it up, but, you know, we'll just wait a few seconds now, and... Surprise! It's a Wallmaster, which I can kill very easily. Um, those things will... Uh, I think they take you back to the entrance of the dungeon, if you're not careful. Also, strangely enough, there is a treasure chest here on the side of the wall. That's interesting. Why, why would that be there? Huh. And the room is tw uh, the, the corridor over there is twisted. I don't know. Something to keep in mind for later. Um, let's open this door. We just used all three keys. Um... There seems to be like these black paintings or something. I don't really understand. Oh, hey, there's the there's the ghost. Sup, ghost? You're in a painting. What is this? Luigi's Mansion? Oh wait, Luigi's Mansion came after this. Um. So I guess the only thing to do is go in here and fight another mini boss. So it's another Stalfos. It's just one this time, which. That can't be difficult, right? I mean, you would never die to this, right? I, w I wouldn't die to this, I know that. Right? I, I, I would never die to this. This is an easy boss, right? Any easy mini boss, right? Yeah, see, that was easy. I just got a heart from that pot, because, you know, I'm not scared. I'm not scared or nothing. Hey, there's two more. Um, I'm kind of scared. So... Just like last time, I guess try to keep them away from each other. They tend to stay away from each other anyway, but... Um, if you can time it right, you can actually hit them before they try to attack you. I'm not very good at that kind of timing, because, you know... Usually they'll, be, they'll drop their guard when they jump over you, too. And of course, I got distracted by this one. Because it was being a jerk. Um, yeah. So like I said before, if you try the... I think you can do the crouch stab. It's probably better against these guys if you know how to do it right. I'm not very good at that, so I'm sorry. Because they're not guarded on their sides. So if, if you're not locked onto them, you can attack their sides with the crouch stab, I guess. And the uh, chest opens this side. That's uh, important to know. And inside here, we get our fairy bow. So the fairy bow, bow and arrow. A lot of people just call it the bow and arrow. It's called the fairy bow. Get it right, people. Jeez, I just went uh, complete wrong direction for that. So here we are, we got the fairy bow. Um, it's, it's a, it's a bow and arrow. I'm, I'm probably just gonna call it the bow and arrow. Cause people tend to forget that it's 
called the fairy bow, and it really doesn't matter what you call it, as long as you realize that it shoots arrows and it is a bow.